Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Melissa Fry. Welcome back here on this Friday evening. Fun weather picture to show you this evening. Uh, we've started to get some fun weather, winter weather pictures in, and we do appreciate that. Take a look at this one sent in by Corey Tate. Uh, this is of a mountain down in southern Oregon. Beautiful, Mount Bailey, uh, beautiful spot there. Getting some snow on the top, some fog in the foreground. Just a beautiful weather picture all around. Thanks again to Corey for sending in your photo. If you have one that you'd like to share, I'd love to see it. You can send it to me over on Facebook or Twitter. And you can always check out our full Wix Picks gallery on KEZ.com. Hundreds of amazing photos sent in by you, our viewers. And it's always just fun to see what the weather's like in your area, especially if we do have a storm rolling through. But even if it's just a, a mild day. Thanks again for sending in those photos. Now you may be able to capture a few raindrops this evening, something that we had not seen in nearly two weeks here in Western Oregon. Uh, they're not very uh, prevalent though. We're just seeing a little bit of drizzle here in the Southern Valley, uh, probably just because we do have a game going on at Autzen, but that is going to continue to uh, taper off. So a little bit of drizzle. I don't expect even a hundredth of an inch here this evening uh, or much more than that. Now other than that, uh, we are going to see these clouds continue to move in here from the west, and that's actually going to keep our temperatures up tonight. We have been below freezing for 10 nights in a row, so rare uh, for this time of year. But tonight, I do think that pattern comes to an end at least for a couple nights. Again, it's just a little teaser. We've got some warm air moving in ahead of uh, a big change that does move in this weekend. So our ridge of high pressure, which had been with us for those 10 days, is now finally starting to slide onto the east. And as it does, that jet stream is going to start to drop down from the north. We have a couple storms wrapped up in that. This one right here is pretty small. We're going to start to see some effects of that uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Basically, that's going to bring some rain showers for the coast, uh, and we may see a little bit of light rain Saturday evening here in the valley. But then as we head further into the weekend, that's when it starts to get even more interesting. So again, that rain when the jet stream shoots right off from the Pacific like that. But what's going to happen Sunday night, uh, and especially Monday afternoon, that jet stream is going to continue to push further into the north. So before it gets up to us here in Western Oregon, it's going to pull down that cold Arctic air mass with it. Uh, and when it does that, and we happen to have a storm system moving through, that's when we get the potential for snow here in Western Oregon. We almost always have to have a pattern like this to get snow down to the valley floor. Uh, we do have that this weekend but the question is will we have any moisture left precipitation left when that cold air gets here it's going to be close so here's what I'm expecting the weekend to look like dry Saturday a few showers late in the day in the coast you'll see showers as well but the heavier rain that does move in on Sunday snow level starts to drop down to 4,500 feet by Monday mid-morning continues to drop down below 1,000 feet by Monday evening and again, looking at that wintry mix possible to the valley floor Monday evening and Tuesday morning. Now, as you head across the coast range and even the higher uh, the foothills, such as Oak Ridge or McKenzie Bridge, you'll likely see those snow showers again early Tuesday morning. So you do want to be prepared for that. It's not going to be much, uh, just the dusting. Otherwise, the coast back to the mid 50s. Again, turning cloudy, those isolated showers moving through. The Umqua Basin, low 50s for you. Don't expect to see much rain tomorrow. Partly sunny, a little bit of fog in the morning. Cast Skies are still warm. A few sprinkles late in the day uh, and those high temperatures in the upper 40s. Central Oregon, low 50s for you, getting breezy late in the day. And you'll actually see that snow Monday night into Tuesday as well. And for the valley, low 50s, staying mild, otherwise mostly cloudy. Uh, again, uh, we are going to continue to see uh, that storm pushing in. Showers for the coast uh, there on Saturday afternoon into Sunday. Rain Monday and then back to showers on Tuesday. For the Umpqua Basin, temperatures start to drop. Again, you'll see that rain Sunday through Tuesday, but take a look at the middle and second half of next week. Those temperatures falling to the mid-30s during the day and mid-20s overnight. The Cascades will see that snow starting Monday, continuing into Tuesday. And look at those overnight lows in the Cascades. Single digits there Thursday and Friday. And for the Willamette Valley, our high temperatures also dropping. We're going to be lucky to get above freezing Wednesday and mm -hmm. Thursday down to 20s overnight, but it'll be dry at that point. Point. So it's mm -hmm. just really Tuesday morning that is the question. Wow. And make sure you're safe if you're coming home, like you said. On yeah, the, if you're traveling the... over the pass, you need yeah. to be prepared for winter. All right, thanks. Yeah.